Hello everyone, Yavis here. I want to introduce you a new feature which is a very important one. Uh, for special ESC we need uh, to, uh, to choose the minimum throttle. Well, I, I will show you why. Here we have, for example, this is the Turnigy uh, uh, ESC for the AXN, a very simple uh, ESC. Um, let's see what happens when we uh, connect it to the timer. See the timer start and then it should arm the ESC. What happens that the timer set the throttle to the minimum and then the, the ESC is armed and we can start the motor. That's what it means. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's very simple and it's fine. We'll disconnect it. Also, we had uh, in this F1S a castle creation ESC which also worked exactly the same. But now we replaced it to uh, the Cobra ESC which is a perfect match for this Cobra motor uh, and this is a smart ESC which is work a little bit different well what happened here let's see when we connect it to uh, the timer this it will start several moves but the motor the, the ESC did not arm is not armed and why is that what happened that the timer moves the throttle to the minimum value which is much lower than the usual minimum value when you use the radio control and this ESC is not expecting to get this low value so the new feature is to set the minimum value of the throttle a little bit higher so then the motor will recognize this value and arm the motor without it it won't work so I want to show you how to uh, configure this new feature, uh, of course, and also how to choose it differently if we have a simple one. For this one, for example, and it's armed already, so we don't have to make any change. But well, first, what we will do, we will enter to uh, the programming menu by using three fast clicks. Now this programming menu, we will change to the RPM menu, one, and when the LED fades in, fades out, alternately like now, this is the RPM menu, and long press to enter here. Well, now the minimum value of the throttle is the minimum as possible. If you have a, an ESC like this one, which is armed on the first try without even touch this menu, that means you can skip this section by pressing long press right now that will set this to the minimum as it was but here we have a problem so we want to make it higher so we will press few times until the motor will arms this will make the throttle higher every press so make it let's make it slow like this one two three four Oh, now it's armed. So we want to set this value to be the minimum throttle. So we'll long press to set this value. And now we can continue as usual by uh, changing, uh, rising the value higher to choose the RPM that we want. Uh, make a few clicks like this one. This seems to be fine. And long press to set this to the uh, to the flight RPM. And now you're ready. Let's see. We'll disconnect it. Oh, well, we don't have to. We can disconnect the battery instead. And now let's see what's happened. You start and oh, and now we're ready to go. Like we will. This is the flight, for example. And this was the safe one because I left the button very quick. Let's make it. And you can see this is working perfect. Well, before this feature, the motor did not start because it didn't know uh, what is the minimum throttle and it did the, the ESC didn't know how to interpret, to interpret the the signals from the timer uh, when using a very extremely low throttle, like it, it was. Well, most of the 
uh, ESC should handle it if they don't try to make an uh, automatic uh, uh, range of throttle like this one. So uh, I hope uh, you like this video, I hope it's helpful and thank you for watching. Bye bye.